In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. And we open today's service in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' most precious name, we've prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. If you're happy to be in the presence of God, I want you to wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to the King of glory, the ancient of days, the bride and the morning star, the rose of Sharon, the reason why we are living, the reason why we are alive. Say, Father Lord, I thank you. I give you all my praise. I worship you tonight. You are worthy. There is none like you. None can be compared unto you. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. We give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. We give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. You are one. The food you are worthy, oh Lord, you are one. The food you are worthy, oh Lord, you are one. The food you are worthy, oh. You are wonderful, wonder. You are worthy. Jesus, you are wonderful, wonder. You are worthy, worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh, oh, Father, you are one, you are worthy, Jesus, you are wonderful, one. 
Olorun agbaye o Olorun agbaye o Olorun agbaye o Jesus ye 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 Jesus of fire I fire Jesus of fire I fire Jesus of fire I fire Jesus we praise you we praise you 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 Hallelujah Thank you thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Lord for everything you have Thank you thank you Lord It will be a word of freedom, a word of revival. 
that you will not be just the hearer, but the doer of his word. Pray that you will not be among those who have come to wash and see the blessings of the Lord rain on others. Ask that they will make you a partaker of his blessings. That as you hear his word tonight, all that he has promised to do in your life, he will do tonight. That none will elude you tonight. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise for this privilege to be in your presence once again. Commit ourselves unto you. We ask, O oh God, have your way and let your name be glorified. Speak to us in the knowledge that we will understand. And let every voice that is not of you be silent in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you are God. Even as men are on their way, we will commit them to your hands. Take charge and bring them to your presence tonight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have all prayed. Please, let's have our seats. Put your hands together for the Lord God Almighty. And welcome your neighbor. Tell your neighbor you are welcome to the presence of God tonight. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Hallelujah. If you are with your Bible, shall we please open to the book of Acts chapter 12, verse 5 to 11. Acts 12, we're going to be reading from verse 5 to 11. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. I will read from here, please. If you are there, shout hallelujah. Say, if you are there, shout hallelujah. I read at 12, 5 to 11. Say, Peter therefore was kept in prison. The prayer was made unto, prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and the keeper before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter by the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chain fell off from his hand. Verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Guide yourself, and bide on the sanders. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. 9. And he went out and followed him. And why not that it was true which was done by the angel, that thou he saw the vision? When they went past the first gate and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. Hallelujah. And they went out and passed through the one street and forthwith the angel departed from him. 11, which is the last verse. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a shot that the Lord has sent his angel and has, do, and has delivered me out of the hand of what Pharaoh and from, the, and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Hallelujah. It's my prayer that tonight the Lord God Almighty will deliver you from all the evil expectations of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And the Lord God Almighty will give answers to your prayer and deliver you from the hands of the evil ones in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today we're going to take a little look on the light for your darkness. Light for your darkest hour. Hallelujah. Light for your darkest hour. Hallelujah. We all know what light is. A simple definition is a light is the opposite of darkness and darkness is the opposite of what? A light. A simple definition. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says that we are the light. And the Bible also makes us to understand that it says no one lights a candle and puts under the bed. Hallelujah. Why? Because if you put it under the bed, it will burn off the bed. So light represents the things of God, let to present um, pr success, promotion, and so on and so forth. Hallelujah. And to us as believers, no one wants to live in darkness. Hallelujah. I don't see anyone that wants to live in darkness. You know, when darkness comes, there is this fear from certain things, things may happen. But when light comes, there is that inner joy that comes into you. Hallelujah. It is my prayer that the light of God will shine upon our life in the name of Jesus. 
and the joy of the Lord will overshadow us in the name of Jesus. Life also brings triumphant. Life makes you to triumph, make you to have good success. And life also helps you to have what? Possibility and victions. Hallelujah. And life brings to reveal the things of the darkness. I pray tonight that as we pray, every secret of the evil one will be revealed and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. See, in place of light, there's always fulfillment. There's always joy. There's always what? Happiness. Praise Master Jesus. That's why we in Nigeria, yeah, when the Nepal brings their light, we shout, up Nepal. Why? Because it gives light and direction. Praise Master Jesus. In my prayer, the light of God will give you direction in the name of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. And we also need to understand that uh, when light comes, even the devil will stand still. He will find a place to hide. Why? Because the devil is the the darkness. And no one wants to live with the devil as a darkness. Hallelujah. And we also discover that when light comes, even there sometimes in the midst of our darkness, in the midst of our, uh, our, 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 our deep and into two of our, our sorrow or pain, when we are pressing through difficulties, challenges, when light comes, Success, that, su- that inner joy that brings success, it makes us to be filled with excitement. Hallelujah. And we also make to understand that when the light of God shines upon a man, you see hi- him on top. Praise Master Jesus. When the light of God shines upon Joseph, we see that he was taken far above even his uh, limitations. And he was made a king before others. And even his younger ones, his elder brothers, they came. And they bow before him. Why? Because the light of God shines upon him. Hallelujah. If you also take a look at uh, the Bible book of uh, Esther, chapter 6 and the, uh, chapter 7, it talks about Esther. When the light of God came upon her life, she was meant to deliver the people of uh, his people. And behold, we understand that the, the plans of Hema was to deliver her to, you know, to the hands of the king to destroy but the God of Uhu Isaac deliver, uh, turn over, turn the things around. And behold, God worked it hard for her and she was lifted higher. Hallelujah. And behold, what, what happened to Naaman? The plan that, that, that he planned for Mordecai was turned unto him. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will overturn everything that he needs to overturn and favor you tonight in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has planned against you, the Lord God Almighty will overturn it in the name of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Say Peter was not looking for who who you know, or someone that knows error, or looking for someone that is being influential. But what what did he do? He lifted up his eyes unto God, and God answered him. And even the church was praying for him. Hallelujah, which brought about his deliverance. You know when we are in our darkest hour. We shouldn't be searching for man to seek for, for help. But all we need to look is to look unto God. Our help, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Because when you look upon man, man may fail you. But God never fails. Hallelujah. Therefore, we need to look up on God. Hallelujah. Say, wherever God did not put you, God is not taking you out of it. In place of your darkest hour, God never had darkness to it. Instead, it causes light to shine upon you by giving you freedom, joy, peace. Praise Master Jesus. It's my prayer that God Almighty will give us all round peace in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are here, you've never experienced the light of God. You've not given your life to Christ. You don't want to accept Jesus as a Lord and personal Savior. I want you to bow your head tonight and ask God for mercy. Ask him to receive you. So if you draw near unto him, he will draw near unto you. Confess your sin before him tonight. Ask for mercy. So that as we pray tonight, he will hear your prayer. The Bible says that the, the prayers of the sinner is an abomination unto God. Then you just begin to ask for mercy and ask him to come into your life. Ask him that you are setting him tonight as his, as his Lord and personal Savior, as your Lord and personal Savior. Ask him to renew you, to strengthen you, to cleanse you from every unrighteousness. And the grace to walk in light, the grace to walk after righteousness, let it be released upon you tonight. If you are said that the Lord God Almighty bless you in the name of Jesus, shall we all be
stop standing as we take a few prayer tonight. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Let's say, Father, please, every gate that I cannot open, please open them unto me in your own accord in the name of Jesus. Every gate that I'll be shut against me, that I'll be shut against my family, against my business, against my home, against my marriage, against the work of my hand, that I cannot open by myself. Please do not, Lord, cause them to open in their own accord. Just as you did in the life of Peter, cause every gate to open in their own accord. Gate of favor, gate of deliverance, gate of upliftment, gate of success. Cause them to be open unto me tonight. In my family, in the church of God, let those gates be open in the name of Jesus. Gates that will bring about light. Gates that will bring about light. Let it be open unto me tonight. Cause them to be open unto me tonight in the name of Jesus. Cause them to be open unto me tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray that every power that wants to close every gate, that God has opened unto me, that God has opened unto the church, that God has opened unto my family, let the power of God strike them down. Every power that wants to oppose that which God has said concerning my life, Lord, we ask, let your fire strike them. Let your power smote them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let your fire smote them today in the name of Jesus. Let your fire smote them now in the name of Jesus. You may have tried, even in your work of place, you may have tried to succeed, and the enemy is pulling you down. Tonight, ask that God Almighty will overturn. Ask that he will overturn. He will overturn, just like he did in the life of Mordecai. Oh, let him overturn. Let him overturn. Let him overturn. Everything that the enemy has planned against you as an individual, against your family, against your business, against the church of God, overturn them tonight. Overturn, overturn, overturn them tonight. In accordance to your word, that you will overturn them. Overturn them tonight in the name of Jesus. Let them be overturned in the name of Jesus. Lord, because you are in charge, overturn them in the name of Jesus. Because your word says that the counsel of the ungodly shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Why? Because if the Lord be for you, who can stand against you, no one. Ask God to overturn the plans of the enemy. Every plan they have made in the night, in the cold, in, in their spiritual realm. Tonight, Lord, we ask, overturn them. Overturn them, overturn them in the name of Jesus. Overturn them tonight. Wherever they have spoken the word in their coven, in their aquatic world, in their shiran, Father, overturn them tonight in the name of Jesus. Pray every power, every spirit, every foxes that, we, that was at your place of bed, that have seen your bed, that, that was at a, the place of your bed, and has made their evil manipulation, saying that over their dead body you will not arise. Add that tonight that the fire of God will consume them. In the name of Jesus, everyone that was there at my bed, even in my dedication, that are saying over their dead body, they will not see me arise. Tonight, Lord, let your fire fall upon them. Let your fire fall upon them. Pray every man, woman, boy or girl, young or old, that they are saying over their dead body, they will not see you getting married, that they will not see your children getting married, that they will not see you and your family enjoying the, life, the success of life, as that tonight the Lord God Almighty will consume them by the fire of the Holy Ghost, as that the fire of the Lord, Holy Ghost will trace them and consume them in the name of Jesus. Pray that every evil gift that has been given to you in the dream, in the day, in the physical, tonight let that dream be destroyed. Let God overturn them. In the name of Jesus, he is the one that is able to reverse the irreversible. Let it be reversed. That negative gift that was given to you, that was given to you in the dream, tonight we reverse it. We reverse it in the name of Jesus. Every negative dream, every negative dream, negative gift that was given to us in the dream, in the physical, oh, during our marriages, during our births, during our celebration. Tonight we ask, O oh God, let there be a reverse in the name of Jesus. 
Because you are able to reverse the irreversible. Father, reverse them tonight. Reverse them tonight. That gift that have been working against us. Oh, Father, we are let there be a reverse. Let there be a reverse. Let there be a reverse. Let there be a reverse tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a reverse. That gift that was given to my children. That is now working against them. That is not causing demotion. That is not causing limitation. That is not causing mere success. Delay in marriage. Delay in giving birth. Delay in being successful. Tonight, Lord, visit them. Visit them tonight. Visit them tonight. Let the sword of your anger slay them off in the name of Jesus and reverse all that they have said in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Tonight, we are going to pray that wherever the enemy has invoke anything that, is, that belongs to us. Maybe they have taken something that belongs to us. Is it our clothes? Anything, anything at all. Whether knowingly or unknowingly to us. Whether when we were bet or through our parents and when we were dedicated to idols. And now they are working against us. Let's ask tonight God Almighty who is able to deliver the captive. Ask him to deliver us from them in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has taken that belongs to us. That is using to work against us, that has been dedicated, that have been dedicated to evil shirim, that has been dedicated to the evil ones. Tonight, Lord, we ask, let your fire consume them all. In the name of Jesus. Everything is it our clothes, is it our money, as a result of our good our, our kindness that we have given out, and the enemy has used it to use it against us, presented it in their coven, or has presented it in their shirim or are presented in, in the occultic world, using them to work against us, manipulate us or our children. Tonight, let the fire of God consume them. Pray that the fire of God will consume them tonight. The Bible says, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Whatever, whatever, however, wherever it has been presented that is working against us as individuals, as family, as a church. Oh, Maria Daboshi, Brata Karaba. Tonight, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume them. Wherever it is, wherever it has been dug, maybe they dig the ground and buried it. Saying, because of that, we will not say. Tonight, Lord, you alone know where it is because you see it even in the deep secrets of the enemy. Holy Spirit, go there and approve them. Go there and approve them. Approve them in the name of Jesus and destroy them in the name of Jesus. And set us free from them all. Because the Bible says, He that the Son of Man set free, set free indeed. Oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we call on you, O oh God, tonight. Because you are our helper, helpers of destiny. Because you are our all in all. Because we depend on you, wherever it has been, been buried. Holy Spirit of God, go there right now. Uproot them and destroy them. Deliver us from it all. In the name of Jesus. And cause us to excel. Henceforth we will say, henceforth we will prosper in the name of Jesus. Ah, that thing that has kept you in prison. Is it the spoken word of your parents? Oh, tonight, let the hands of God deliver us from it all. Pray that every call that has been rendered upon us as individual, as family, that is not causing us, that is causing us not to progress. That is causing retrogression, delay, setback, delay, disappointment, and failure. Oh, tonight, Lord, we ask, deliver us from it all. Reach us unto us, O oh God. Tonight, let, it be the, let us be delivered from them all. In the name of Jesus, just as you deliver Peter, deliver us from it all. In the name of Jesus, oh, Father, deliver us from it all. Tonight, let there be divine encounter. In Jesus' name we are prayed.
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's say, Father, Father, peace, Lord. Let there be divine encounter upon my life tonight. In the name of Jesus, upon the church of God, upon my family, my brothers and sisters and their family, my wife, my children, my husband, my wife, my children, let there be deliverance. Let there be divine encounter tonight. In the name of Jesus, like never before, O oh God, let there be deliver, the divine encounter like never before. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let there be divine encounter. In the name of Jesus, so that the book of remembrance be opened unto us. In the name of Jesus, so that the book of remembrance be opened unto us. Just as the book of remembrance was opened unto Mordecai, Father, let the book of remembrance be opened unto us. Pray tonight that the book of, rem of remembrance be opened unto you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Upon your church. Upon us as individual. As family. Oh, Jesus. Let the book of remembrance be opened unto us. Upon our parents. Upon our spouse. Upon our children. Upon every member of praise Zabanaku. Let the book of remembrance be opened unto us. Tonight in the name of Jesus. Just as he do, did in the life of Mordecai. In the book of Esther 6. Oh, Father. Let the book of remembrance be opened unto us. In the name of Jesus. You did it for Joseph. Do it for us again. Do it for us again. Do it for us again. You did it for Daddy Gio. Oh, let the book of remembrance be opened unto us. Even unto your son, you did it for him. Father, let the book of remembrance be opened unto us. Tonight, in the name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 9, reminds us and told us that there was a time Moses was not asking that is there anyone still left in the house of Saul? Why? For him to show him kindness. Hallelujah. Why? Because the book of remembrance will open unto him. Again, we are going to pray that same prayer. That the book of remembrance, just as it did in the life of Esther, uh, Mordecai, let, that, let the book of remembrance be opened unto us. Hallelujah. the book of remembrance be opened unto us. As you did in the light of Jonathan, let the book of remembrance be opened unto us. God is saying there's somebody here that he wants to open the book of remembrance unto. Is it in the area of your business? The Bible says, call upon him, he will answer you. Oh, Father, we'll call upon you tonight. Let the book of remembrance be opened unto us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we are prayed. We're going to be, be taking some prayers also from uh, fasting and prayer. We're going to be praying that, Father, Father, please help me to recognize and obey your voice at all time in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, help me, oh God. To recognize just your voice and your voice only. And help me to obey your voice. Help me to obey your voice. As I recognize your voice, help me to obey it. Help me to obey it at all time. In every second. In every minute. In every hour. Help me to obey your voice. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, I receive your grace. Ask to receive the grace to hear and to obey his voice. Grace to obey his voice. Grace to hear from him. In season to season. In season out of season. Ask the grace to hear him. The grace to hear him. In the name of Jesus be released upon you. In the name of Jesus say Father please grant unto us. The grace. The grace of your word. To study your word. In total. Oh Father release unto us. The grace to study your word. The grace to work with your word. 
to run with your word. Let it be released unto us in every day, in every minute. In the name of Jesus, the grace, O oh God, to put your word first in all time and every season. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's pray that the spirit of, let's say, Father, every spirit of error, I decree in the name of Jesus, it will not catch up with me in the name of Jesus. Pray that the spirit of error will not catch up to you, will not catch up to me, will not catch up to my family, will not catch up to my brothers and sisters and their family, the church of God, my home, my spouse, my wife, my husband, my children. The spirit of error will not catch up to us in the name of Jesus. Pray and decree. The Bible says, decree a thing and it shall come to pass. It says, whatever you decree with your mouth, it shall surely stand. Every spirit of error program against my life, program against the church of God, program against my destiny, against my wife, my children. Tonight, oh God, let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Cause them to be destroyed. Cause them to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Any man praying for my downfall. Ah, Father. Let your fire consume them. Let your fire consume them. In the name of Jesus. And let their plan be a stepping stone to my greatness. A stepping stone to my uprising. In the name of Jesus. Pray that by your spirit and by your mercy, I receive a touch of the Holy Spirit. Through your grace and mercy, I receive a touch of your grace and mercy. In the name of Jesus. Decree concerning every spirit of waster. Decree concerning every spirit of waster. We arrest every satanic power assigned to, to waste my life. Assigned to waste that resources that you have given unto me. Assigned to waste my destiny in one way or the other. Assigned to waste the spirit of God in my life. Assigned to disgrace the grace of God in my life. Father, I arrest them. Every satanic spirit that want to disgrace the spirit of God in my life. I arrest them by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I destroy their plans in the name of Jesus. I disgrace them in the name of Jesus. I destroy their plans in the name of Jesus. Oh, as that the Spirit of God will reign upon Nigeria in this season and beyond. Let the Spirit of God reign and rule over this country, Nigeria. In the day, in the night, let the Spirit of God rule and reign over this nation, Nigeria, and over all the, uh, the, the, the nations in Africa and the world. Let the Spirit of God reign and rule supreme in the name of Jesus. Let it be only the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Decree consigning every waste of souls. Ah, Everyone that is wasting souls, every sponsor of evil, as that the Spirit of God will waste them in the name of Jesus. As that the Spirit of God will withdraw all their resources in the name of Jesus. Everyone sponsoring terrorism, whether as group or as individual, wherever they are, Father will decree and declare, withdraw all their resources, withdraw all their resources, withdraw all their resources, withdraw all their resources in the name of Jesus. Everyone planning evil against our children. Father, let your sword of anger slay them. Let your sword of anger slay them. Everyone planning evil against every children in Prince and Manaco. We use all the children here in Prince and Manaco to reach all other children that are not here. Every, pl every plans of the evil one to waste their life. Father, we decree that your spirit will waste them. In the name of Jesus, we cover the children with the blood of Jesus. Let's pray for the pregnant women that in the day of their delivery, they will be like the, Hebrew, uh, uh, like the Hebrew women. They will deliver successfully. The enemy will not see them. In the name of Jesus, pray that the enemy will keep, the, the Lord God Almighty will keep their enemy busy. In the name of Jesus, they will be alive. Their children will be alive. We will celebrate and rejoice with them. In the name of Jesus, so we decree concerning them. In the name of Jesus, let's pray for us men that are looking unto God for the fruit of the womb. Let's add that the Spirit of God will reach out to them. In the name of Jesus, begin to cover your prayers with the blood of Jesus as you begin to appreciate God in the name of Jesus. Begin to appreciate God for the answers to our prayer. Let's begin to appreciate God for the answers to our prayers. In the name of Jesus, begin to appreciate Him. He's good God. He's a good God. He's the one that is able to answer our prayers. He will call on in in the day of trouble. He's able and just to give us answer. Thank you for the answers of prayer.